Let's get to it. Let's do it. All right. Come on. When I leave here, I want people to just go, she was hot stuff. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. This is fantastic. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Julia Scotty. I'm from New Jersey. There you go. And what is it that you do? I'm a stand-up comic. Ah. Okay, so why America's Got Talent? I want to show people that age has nothing to do with it. You know, you don't stop because you got gray hair. Right? Well, I mean, how is 60 and you still do stand-up, don't you? Well, it would be harder if I had gray hair. Yeah. I have no hair, which gives me the ability. <laughs> for me if and I no and to be too, fair, so. Mel, you're still singing. You know what? <laughs> okay, back to you. I'm back lying. to you. So listen, this is your stage. We're all standing at your attention. Good luck and enjoy yourself. And by the way, Simon, you're dead meat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming out. This is great. So I am old. I'm in the autumn of my years. It is, because my foliage is starting to change color. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you know what I mean. Oh, uh, we know. <laughs> I'm at this age where if I were on a sinking ship and there weren't enough lifeboats to go around, right, and I was getting the last seat on the last boat, and just as I was about to climb on board, this young girl comes up, give me the sad face, you know, like, like I'm supposed to change places with her. Seriously, I'm supposed to say something noble, like, you know, dear... I've had a good life. <laughs> you take my seat on the lifeboat. <laughs> that! <laughs> I didn't get to be this old by giving up my seat on a lifeboat. <laughs> You're gonna have to learn to live with disappointment. <laughs> At least for a couple of more minutes, you know. Just... So, I'm, in addition to being uh, old, I'm fat, single, and broke. <laughs> uh, my 401k, I got enough in there for about a month and a half of Netflix. <laughs> I'm a complete and utter physical wreck, you know. Uh, my, my primary care doctor is a paleontologist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work out because I got the really bad arthritis. I, not like my cousin. My cousin's 70 years old. She ran a marathon at 70, 26 and a half miles. I know! Making me look bad. I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. I jog a block and a half. I'm starting to see dead relatives at the end of the street going... Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got them smiling and on their feet. Thank you. You're gonna make me cry. Hi. Hi. Good evening, young lady. How are you? What is it like backstage for you? Being surrounded by these incredibly talented kids. My God, they're all singing, they're twirling, they're eating fire, they're bouncing. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> I'm walking around with a cane and they're like, can I help you, old lady? And like, Get away from me. Do you ever do stand-up about... About the thing? The thing. <laughs> I'm transgender, for those of you who didn't know. I do talk about it sometimes. Sometimes I don't. It's not all of who I am. That's it's good. part of who I am, you know. Right. So I'm going to give you the stage. Best thank of you, luck. Thank you. So a lot of people ask, you know, they can't understand why I'm still doing this so late in life, stand-up comedy. And it's not for fame, you know. All right, little for fame. <laughs> but to be honest with you, the, the truth is, I need burial money. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I know what my family's not gonna do it, because they're cheap. <laughs> if I don't have enough money, my family will do it the old-fashioned way. They'll put me in a dumpster behind a Walmart. <laughs> and then they'll take all of my life insurance money, and they'll have a big party on my dime, because my family loves free food. <laughs> Thank you. There's my family right there. Yeah. My family would go to, like, an execution if they had a buffet. <laughs> and then complain about the meatballs, you know. So I'm thinking about cremation. That's what I'm looking for, you know. But I want to lose some weight first. Because I don't want my family to have to go shopping for, like, a plus-sized urn. <laughs> and you see my sister coming out of the urn barn going, that fat <laughs> man! It's my time. Thank you so much. You guys are great. How are you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I see you're looking at me and you're going, Julia, how can you be working all of this and still be single? I was, I was married. I, I suck at it. I suck at it. And if I ever get married again, it's going to be to like a 90-year-old chain-smoking billionaire <laughs> who's about two cheeseburgers away from till death do us part. <laughs> and my friends can't understand. I love being single, but my friends are always like, aw, Julia, you're all alone. Aw. Aw, you poor thing. Aw. I hate the aw. The R makes me feel like, like, like one of those animals in the ASPCA commercial. <laughs> you know, they always have that one-eyed cat. <laughs> uh, uh, cat's missing like half an ear. <laughs> Poor thing can't even meow. It's like, meow. <laughs> uh, cat's name is Lucky. And I, my friends are like, well, don't you miss sleeping with somebody? Hell no! <laughs> sleeping with what, so I can spoon? <laughs> oh, the most overrated thing in bed. I got a $3,000 queen-size mattress. I got all that real estate over there. I don't know you slapped up against me. <laughs> like two slices of bacon in a package. <laughs> Some big, hairy, stinking, B.O.-smelling arm laying over me. Right, blowing stale Chinese food breath in my face. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. I gotta listen to. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 oh yeah, that, that's paradise. That's paradise. Uh, spooning. You know who should spoon? Spoons. My perfect relationship is somebody that lives like a thousand miles away from me <laughs> that I can see once a year. I go out there, I need to, I need to, I need to date a prisoner. <laughs> I need to date a prisoner in Minnesota with no possibility of parole. I'll go out to the prison on our anniversary once a year, go out to the class, go, hi, honey, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> See you next year. Because I don't want him showing up at my house someday going, hey, baby, I'm out. Let's spoon. <laughs> Thank you so much. The comedic.